Hello everyone. So this is part two of uh, my recording of how mucus builds up in cystic fibrosis and why salty sweat. So in part one, we've talked about how mucus builds up and now in part two, we'll be talking about why people with cystic fibrosis have salty sweat. So continuing from the previous video, so this is your sweat gland. This is a diagram that I drew of a sweat gland. Um, this is your sweat gland here. And inside here is the sweat being produced by your sweat gland. So these are the secretory cells and these are the absorb, the cells that absorb back stuff. And in the cells that absorb back stuff, you have um, your CFTR um, protein and you also have your ENAC like before. So the normal function of your CFTR protein is to absorb chloride ions. And the normal function of your ENAC is to absorb sodium ions. So we'll be drawing that here. Hopefully it will work this time. Hmm. Okay. This is your CFTR, so it absorbs chloride ions. This is your ENAC. The normal function is to absorb sodium ions. So, um, we mentioned that the in cystic fibrosis, there's actually a mutation in your CFTR gene. And the CFTR gene, um, not only responsible for the for the making of your CFTR protein, which is this channel over here, it is also responsible for down-regulating your ENAC, which is your channel here. That's the case for your respiratory epithelium. However, in your sweat glands, the CFTR gene does not function to down-regulate ENAC. So it'll be a different story here. Um, the main mechanism of how you get salty sweat in this case is because of the dysfunction of your CFTR protein. So because of the mutation in your, in your CFTR gene, you have um, either this protein is not produced or this protein is produced but it has a weird shape and it doesn't function properly. So let me just draw it out here. So this doesn't function properly anymore or um, it's not there at all. This results in increase in your chloride ions in your sweat. And um, like we said uh, in our first video, uh, opposite charges uh, attract. So as a result of less chloride being uh, reabsorbed, um, less sodium is also being reabsorbed because uh, sodium wants to stay with chloride. Sodium is positively charged and chloride is negatively charged. So they want to stay together. So sodium and chloride becomes, levels of sodium and chloride becomes higher. Less, either no or less chloride gets reabsorbed and um, less sodium gets reabsorbed. So more sodium chloride is in your sweat. And what is sodium chloride? That's sweat. And sodium chloride is salt. So um, that's why people say that um, in people with cystic fibrosis, uh, they have more salty sweat. Everybody has salty sweat, right? But um, I've not tasted it myself. But theoretically, or according to textbooks, uh, people with cystic fibrosis have even more salty sweat because of the higher concentration of sodium chloride in the uh, sweat. Okay, I hope that uh, clarifies things. I hope it's helpful. Thank you.